how's it going? Just yet to remind you to click the like button, subscribe here to the channel, then hit the bell so you don't miss any videos and stay well inside in our entire universe of Dragon Ball. Without further ado, let's get started. The Power Awakened. Goku reaches new heights in Ultra Instinct. Inside the time chamber, Goku's training reaches an intensity never seen before. He focuses on elevating his Ultra Instinct to new heights, seeking true mastery over his transcendental form. This time, this time I need to go even further to reach the peak of Ultra Instinct. Goku's every movement is a cosmic dance, a sublime expression of pure energy. He closes his eyes, delving into his memories, and a particular image emerges in his mind. Frieza, the tyrant in the universe, with his most recent transformation. Frieza, you are the first one to show me the power that exists beyond my limits. Now, it's my turn to show you how far I can go. With renewed determination, Goku focuses his ki, the silver aura of Ultra Instinct becoming more intense. He remembers the intense battle against Frieza on Namek, where the Golden Tyrant was almost defeated. I feel like this power goes beyond anything I've ever faced. I need to prepare myself for even greater challenges. Goku opened his eyes, revealing an intense and determined light. He raises his hand and the energy around him responds to his will. The time chamber is surrounded by a silver aura, indicating the manifestation of Ultra Instinct in its purest state. This is the essence of Ultra Instinct, the perfect fusion of mind and body. As Goku continues to increase his power, the time chamber shakes with great intensity of the energy released. The Saiyan warrior is about to transcend to his own limits, and the universe eagerly awaits the result of this cosmic training. Goku's journey into the time chamber is not just a quest for brute strength, but an exploration of the infinite possibilities that Ultra Instinct can offer. Cosmic destiny awaits, ready to test the true extent of Goku's power. Distorted time, communication between Kaioshin and Dende. While Goku continues his intense training in the time chamber, Lord Kaio, concerned about the temporal distortion, decides to communicate with Dende, the guardian of Earth, through telepathy. Dende, I can feel a temporal distortion coming from the time chamber. It seems that for Goku, a day is equivalent to a year. Yeah, that's how the time chamber works. One day here is a year inside. It's extraordinary, isn't it? Goku must be undergoing unparalleled training. Yes, it's impressive, but it's also proof of how much he is willing to overcome himself. The concern is that this distortion could have unexpected effects. The nature of the time chamber has always been unique, but such a large discrepancy can have consequences. Exactly. We need to be aware of the possible impact that the temporal fabric can get. Inside the time chamber, as Goku trains tirelessly, time stretches by as the second allowing him to explore the limits of his power in ways never before imagined. Lord Kaio, we trust that Goku will know how to deal with the implications. He always found a way to overcome challenges. Yes, Dende. We can only observe and hope that the result of this training is beneficial for the balance of the multiverse. The telepathic communication between King Kai and Dende highlights the uniqueness of Goku's training in the time chamber and the uncertainty surrounding the consequences of this temporal distortion. As the Saiyan warrior seeks to master Ultra Instinct, the universe eagerly awaits the outcome of this unique journey. The Divine Awakening. The Threat of Free Deities. In a distant, unknown galaxy where the stars twinkle in never-before-seen constellations, a sinister cosmic twist unfolds. Gods who were once detained by the former Angel Meros when he served the galactic troop find themselves mysteriously freed from their confinement. The power of these deities, now freed, is immeasurable. They decide to join forces and converge towards Universe 7, whose vibrant energy caught their attention. An evil cosmic gathering begins to form, with an unknown purpose beyond the boundaries of mortal understanding. In the Temple of Kamisama, Lord Kaio notices the disturbances of the cosmic balance. Something is wrong. I feel a divine presence moving. And it's not just that. 
In response to this emerging threat, Wei's alerted by signs of imbalance, communicates with the gods and warriors of Universe 7. It seems ancient deities have been freed. We must prepare for an approaching storm. Huh? Something's not right. I feel a strange energy approaching. Meanwhile, in the unknown universe, the freed gods converge their energies to create an interdimensional portal. A leader among them, whose power seems to transcend divine, takes the lead. Universe 7 is not prepared for our arrival. Unleash divine fury! The portal opens, connecting the distant galaxies. The deities, now freed and possessing a mysterious desire, began their journey towards Universe 7. The coming cosmic battle threatens to upset the delicate balance that Goku, Vegeta and their allies have so strenuously maintained. As Goku continues his training in the time chamber, Whis, Beerus' attentive instructor, detects cosmic disturbances echoing through the dimensions. A serious expression hangs over his face as he communicates telepathically with Beerus. Lord Beerus, there is something extraordinary happening. Energies of unusual magnitude are rapidly approaching Universe 7. Powerful energies, you say? This is not something that happens every day. Where does it come from? It is difficult to determine the exact origin, but it appears that ancient deities previously detained have been freed. And they're heading straight here. Ancient deities? This can't be good. We need to act. I agree. We must be prepared for what's to come. These energies far exceed what we already faced. Hmm. Get ready, Whis. Let's go meet these deities. We cannot allow them to wreak havoc on Universe 7. The two head towards the point of origin of the energies. Ready to face the approaching threat. As Goku trains in a time chamber, oblivious to the imminent danger, Universe 7 is on the brink of a cosmic battle that could determine the fate of every known galaxy. The Delicate Divine Dance Beerus evaluates his intervention. As Beerus and Whis prepare to face the approaching deities, the God of Destruction reflects on his role in Universe 7. An aura of thoughtfulness hangs over him as he addresses Whis. Whis, I can't just impulsively interfere with this. My role is to maintain balance between the universes, not to judge or impose ideals. I understand what you're trying to say, Lord Beerus. You are the guardian of balance, not the judge of divine intervention. So far, we don't know what the intentions of these deities are. We can only wait and watch. The energy of the time chamber pulses in the background as Goku, immersed in his training, remains oblivious to the growing tension in the universe around him. Whatever threat looms, I cannot let my own judgments influence the cosmic order. We need to act wisely. If the deities bring imbalance, the intervention will be necessary. So, get ready, Lord Beerus. The ride might be long. To be continued. So hey, what do you believe in and what do you imagine about all of this? Don't forget to click the like button, subscribe here to the channel, then hit the bell so you don't miss any videos. And that's it for today. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.